Well, let's get an analysis on the situation now in South Sudan and Uganda's military intervention. We're joined live from our Johannesburg studios by Andre Rooks, a research fellow with the Institute for Security Studies, specializing on peacekeeping and conflict management. Thank you very much, Andre, for joining us here on Africa Live. Now, Uganda's parliament recently voted for the continued deployment of Uganda's military in South Sudan. Is there a risk, though, of the South Sudanese conflict sucking in the rest of the Great Lakes region and perhaps the Horn of Africa? Well, I think the situation in South Sudan is very specific to South Sudan. Obviously, should it further deteriorate into a full-blown civil war, then it will destabilize the region. Uh, it is a concern that Uganda has entered into the fray on the side of uh, President uh, uh, of South Sudan. Um, but the situation right now is that uh, the Ugandan citizens that are in South Sudan they might become vulnerable in the situation if uh, the Ugandans are seen to be taking sides. Andre, though, already we are receiving reports that uh, nine Ugandan soldiers have been killed in that intervention, though. Do you see Ugandans sending in more troops, or will they slow down uh, President Museveni's intervention efforts? I don't think that uh, necessarily more troops would go in. There are quite a large number in at the moment, and they are involved directly with the fighting. They have joined a task force from uh, the SPLA, from uh, Salva Key's uh, main forces, and they are advancing on Bor. Now, Bor is a key region, a key capital, and that will be a key fight. I think that uh, it will be quite a decisive uh, encounter. They have regrouped. Uh, the SPLA forces and, and moved up under Salva Kiir, and I think they are a much stronger footing than they were previously. Uh, the situation, I think, is going to further destabilize in terms of humanitarian, with uh, more people fleeing once again from Bor, which has been devastated by this conflict, and there's been a, a number of uh, incidents in Bor where civilians have had to flee, and now, once again, um, the situation is going to become quite dire in that region. And uh, many civilians that are, high, are, are seeking refuge at the UN camp in Bor right. uh, will once again be under threat. All right. Uh, Andre, let's, let's take a quick look, though, at the ongoing peace talks there in Addis Ababa. And this evening, mediators have asked the African Union to intervene. What impact do you expect the recent development on the war front, though, within South Sudan and the formal deployment of the Ugandan troops, what impact would that have on the ongoing peace talks in Addis Ababa? I think the uh, ongoing peace process will continue. Uh, the challenge to this situation is that Ugandan's intervention obviously strengthens Salva Kiir's hand. Uh, he is looking for a military victory that negates the emphasis on having a peace deal. So the peace process will in fact be undermined to an extent by uh, a stronger showing on the battlefield by Salva Kiir's forces. Because at the end of the day, this conflict has to have a political settlement. You cannot just have a military victory in a few key towns and then have a settlement of the situation. This situation goes much deeper into the ethnic conflict, the Nuer versus Dinka. And uh, that is the danger that a military success might, in fact, be negative to the peace process ongoing at the moment. All right, uh, Andre Rooks joining us there from Johannesburg on uh, South Sudan situation. Uh, thank you very much for joining us.